It's been an Australian tradition for years, the State of Origin series. State against state, mate against mate, but with a new twist. The Promax Performance Exhaust TA2 Muscle Car Series launched its own State of Origin mini-series so our state racers could get trackside again in this COVID captive year. More like mate racing mate in mate versus mate. New South Wales hosted the first round at Sydney Motorsport Park with Young's Mark Crutcher and Sydney's Craig Scatella scrumming down early in race two going into turn one. Yeah, I wasn't real sure until we actually had a look at the video. I, I got off to a fire actually. I, I probably got three or four K by turn one. I was doing a bit over 200, I think, and um, uh, going to turn one, and Craig was on the outside. I just don't think he's seen me. That, that, that's life, because I got there pretty quickly, and uh, I ended up in the wall. On the full-time siren, Western Sydney's Michael Coulter booted home his first TA2 race win, while Hugh McAllister in the Kubota Mustang made it three out of four wins to take his first TA2 race and round win in a dominant performance, and a well-earned man of the match award as well. Not the best start for the weekend. Paul Blanc was great, then the little mishap on uh, first race, but we recovered from there. So I had a battle that last race. I really had to fight for the last race. The tyres weren't what they were the rest of the weekend. Made my first race win, first round win, absolutely wrapped. I know it's a depleted field, but I'll take it while I can get. Queensland Raceway hosted round two of the State of Origin Tri Series with some new faces joining the TA2 lineup. Well, it's a totally different car, you know, 400 odd more horsepower. You've got rear wheel drive, you've got those big Hoosier tyres, um, but you know what? I might, I might have to put the Hyundai in the garage, put it that way. I want to give it a good crack, so I'll run the TA2 for uh, 2021, and um, I might do a little bit of tin top racing as well, and we'll see how we go. Everything I've always wanted to do for a few years now, and finally had the opportunity um, to take one for a drive, thanks to Pete and Cam at TA2, and um, take a bit daunting the first time out, but um, each session they're getting better and better and quicker and quicker, that's the main thing about it, just seat time, and hey, they're an awesome, awesome car, just a lot of fun once you get your head around them. Newcomer Kyle Girton was unfortunately out for the weekend and qualified, but 18-year-old Nathan Hearn had the Gulf Western Oils Dodge really hooked up to take the PWR Pole Award with a 113 dead eight-tenths of a second faster than John McLaughlin's Mustang with Murray Kent's Camaro in third. We tried a few things in the car and then half worked out, so, um, you know, we've got a wet race now, so it'll be interesting to take TA2 out in the rain. It'll be my first time in the rain, as it will be for a lot of the other people here, so um, it should be interesting. Uh, I'll probably throw a big spin in the work, so yeah, we'll see what happens the rest of the weekend. Race one, and the ground was declared wet. Hearn got the jump, but went off early, handing McLaughlin the lead. However, fought back from fifth on the road to hit the front again just on half time to go on to take the win. 10 Kate also found the conditions difficult, going off road a number of times in the Mustang and ending up in the gravel at turn two with the race declared at just eight laps. That was the worst conditions I'd ever raced in yesterday. It was, it was pretty atrocious and it wasn't just the heavy rain, it was the fact that the windscreen had fogged up that bad, I literally couldn't see a thing. I couldn't see the corners, I couldn't see the cars in front of me, I couldn't see who was behind me, and I thought, oh no, this, this, this is just too, just too much. Race two was bumped back to drier conditions on Sunday morning, with Murray Kent starting from the back of the grid and going on to win the Hypercoil's Hard Charger Award for his drive through the third outright. He ran side by side with Peter Robinson's Dodge through turns one, two, and turn three, while Robbo missed a gear, letting 10k through for four, heading into turn six. Help my elbows out a little bit and uh, we gave each other race and race. He, he's a great driver, uh, I really enjoyed that, but I didn't like Anthony Kincaid passing me. I missed the gear, gave me the open door, <laughs> couldn't catch him. Yeah, it was good fun, yeah, Pete, they're very trustworthy to race next to, so yeah, we were joking before we could probably hand each other a drink, going around a couple of corners, but yeah, it's good fun, you know where Pete's going to go and hopefully he knows the same, so yeah, it's good. Hearn won again from McLaughlin and Kent. Race three, and again, Nathan Hearn won the scrum off the start to lead McLaughlin into turn one. Ten Kate was struggling and had more than his foot over the boundary line at turn two early in the race. Kent was also on a charge, passing McLaughlin for second on lap two, with McLaughlin repassing the fifth class Camaro one lap later. Chris Pappas was doing double duties over the weekend and found stepping out of the Hyundai XL into the 500 plus horsepower Mustang was like stepping out of a local club game into the World Cup. The Lismore legend went on to make it three for three, with stadium truck racer Sean Richardson also having a solid weekend in the RTC Dodge. 
Uh, we're actually pulling the shocks out and putting another set of shocks in. We've been having a, a, a bit of problem with lift on braking, and, uh, which means that when I turn in, I can't get turn in until the back end sat back down. So we've been playing around with these shocks. We don't think we're getting what we need, so we're going to pull them out and put another set in. 18-year-old Nathan Hearn wrapped up the weekend with a solid run for the full-time siren in race four, with the scoreboard showing pole position, four fastest laps, and four wins from four starts to bank the maximum points from McLaughlin and Peter Robinson. Proving again, you don't need a super licence to be a superstar in this code of competition. Uh, I mean, I've had some massive opportunities come thrown at me from driving the TO2 car, and, and it really is a really good category to get your name out there. Um, you know, when we first joined TO2, we didn't know where to go. We couldn't afford Super 2 or Super 3, and, and we were sort of too old for former Ford, so the, the only real step we had was TO2. And, Probably the best um, career choice I've ever made. Peter Robinson won the Circo Masters Award from Sean Richardson and Anthony Tenkate, while Richardson also picked up the Willwood Big Breaker Award for a strong performance to finish fourth overall. I really needed some Willwood uh, break this as well, so that's perfect timing. We've, we've learned a little bit more, so a little bit more time in the car, so hopefully going forward we can get quicker and quicker. Uh, we've got uh, cars waiting, we've got uh, a shipment due at the end of November, uh, so Cars selling, people are, are super keen on TA2 and we, we just can't get enough of them. So uh, I predict before the end of 2021 we'll have 75 cars in the country. The Bowden's own Best Presented Award went to the beautifully prepared My Race Profile Mustang number 17 of John McLaughlin. Yeah, thank you. There's a lot of effort gone into making the car look the way it does, um, from the design to the, to the sign writing to the team just keeping it clean and especially after the, the wet race and a bit of an excursion here and there, they go and give it a wipe down and um, make it look you know, awesome with the, the Bowden products. So yeah, it's always got a shine to it. Rookie Nick Lang had a solid run to fifth on debut and won the Cool Shirt Cool Move of the Moment award for jumping in at the last minute as a sub for Russell Wright, who was benched after a training injury. So, subject to COVID-19 border controls, round three of the Promax Performance Resource State of Origin mini-series will move to Sandown Raceway in Victoria, November 27 to 29. Full details on the TA2 website.